You're a good girl. Yes, you are. Put you in your box, because today is Mail Call Monday. And for those of you that don't know what Mail Call Monday is, during the week when you guys send me packages, I try to open them up on a Monday, so that way you can see what's going on here in my life and uh, what people have sent to Skeeter and I. So what do we got today? We got this package. We got a box here from uh, Jim Romandy up in Illinois and something that I ordered. I thought it was for work, but it turns out it's something for me. So let's bust open a package. This is actually remainder of the order that I made last week. This was a little straggler. It didn't make that shipping. See, Star Wars shirt or Star Trek. Yeah, this is going to be a whole lot of fun to wear, especially with the new movie coming out next month. I've got my tickets. You got your tickets. I'm actually going to be watching it Wednesday night. So I got some uh, super advanced screening tickets. The good thing about that showing is there's only one showing, which means there isn't going to be a tremendous crowd. The theater isn't going to be packed to high hell. And yeah, I don't like dealing with that crap. And I'm sure you guys are probably with me on that one. You know, comment down below. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Anyways, licky, likey, comment, subscribe, pluck that dingle belly. You get updates every time I upload a video. And check out dougshit.net. You'll find my address if you'd like to mail me something. Oh, guess what? Oh, my God. My address. Oh, don't dare show that on the camera. We'll be back right after the intro. All right, everybody, we're back. Let's go ahead and open up Jim's box. What do you think Jim sent us, Skeeter? You think he sent you some food? It says open here. Hey, convenient label, Jim. That's thinking ahead, thank you. There we go. There we got first thing on top, a note. Duckman, no honking on the peas or cake. They're for Skeeter. Guess what, Skeeter? I think we actually did get food for you. <laughs> first things first, right up on top. Anti-seize lubricant. I don't think you're going to eat that, Skeeter. Goose grease. Yeah, that's fitting. We can lube your butt with it. See, that way your butt won't seize up. Won't it? You don't want that. <laughs> see what else we got in here. This, I think, is just a bag. Sweet peas, no salt added. <laughs> I don't know if Skeeter eats those. I think I've given peas to Skeeter before, and uh, she didn't touch them. But we'll try again. I mean, it's been, you know, 10 plus years since the last time I tried to give them to her. So we'll see how that works out. Right, Skeeter? You gonna eat some peas? There is yum yum for you. Yeah, you're excited. You know, I told you there's food. There actually is food. Oh, look at this. A mealworm brick. I know that her brother and she are going to be fighting over this one. This sucker's got, um sunflower hearts in it too the uh sunflower seeds i don't know if she'll eat the seeds out of it but i know boomer will he'll pick those things right out of there he'll tear that all up want it good yum yum yeah you do want that i can tell I wonder what they caked it together with sunflower hearts dried mealworms gelatin okay now it's just gelatin sometimes they're stuck together with like uh, molasses which makes them kind of sweet and uh, usually makes the birds want to eat them more because they taste good. We'll see what happens with this. I know they're going to tear it up because they usually do. Usually I break off a brick of this and I drop it in their water bowl. And you probably say, why would you drop it in the water? Well, these are dabbling ducks. They have um, beaks with filters on them. So they get in the water and they <laughs> splash the water out and filter their food. And that is the natural method in which they eat. If I put this in their bowl, sure, they'll eat it, but it's much easier for them to eat it when it's in that water because that's what they're, they're, well, they're built for it. Yeah, this is for you. You're excited, aren't you? You are excited. You want to tear that up, don't you? Well, you got some peas and some mealworms. We're going to see what happens there. And for me, I've got some anti-seas, and this is going to come in handy there, Jim. Thank you very, very much. Actually, my tube is almost out, so this couldn't have come at a better time. This is something I ordered for me. And you might even recognize it, if it is what I think it is. Now, everything's boxed a little differently than I expected. I have a tendency to um, just destroy my sunglasses. So to put it in short, what I did is I got some replacement sets for the glasses that you guys are very familiar with that you see me wearing all the time. So I got a change out of those. Uh, the last set, I, I don't know what happened to them. I, I think I lost them. Glasses usually last me um, a few months. If I'm lucky, I get a year. The blue pair actually has lasted me a little over two years. The problem with them is, is I, I tend to leave them places. And uh, well, eventually I do find them, but I tend to leave them places. And um, 
when they turn up again, they're under something and they've been raked across stuff, or I have a tendency, and I don't think about it, to just take them off and drop them in my tool bag when I'm on a job site. So they're sitting in there with all the screwdrivers and handfuls of nuts and bolts, and they just get absolutely destroyed. But I decided I'm going to pick up another color too. I think it'd be nice to have a little change out there. Well, those look different to look through. Everything's more blue. Weird. <laughs> they have a, a nice case that came with them. I'm going to take one of these cases and throw that down in the tool bag <laughs> in the side pocket so that way I can slip my glasses into it when I'm out and about. And I got another color here, one I hadn't looked at before. Kind of a um, iridescent turquoise. Not too, too different from the blue that I was wearing previous. Similar, but not the same. Clearly a little bit different. Really cool. Okay. And by the way, if you guys want to get this stuff that you see me opening up here, down below in the video description, um, you'll find links to the Amazon pages where these came from. If you do buy something that you see me wearing, uh, they give me like a 5% commission or something. So if you use those links, I do appreciate it. So does Skeeter. These were something I saw that were just a little weird, a little noodly. And you guys know me. I'm a little, little divergent from the norm. <laughs> so I saw these and I thought they were so strange I had to have them. Something a little different. They're really big, but so is my head. So they actually, they don't look too bad on me. They kind of work. And you know what? They're comfortable. They're actually really large, and they are metal framed. These are much nicer than I expected them to be. Considering they're cheap glasses, they're actually really nice. Wow. Not bad at all. That's something different. <laughs> what do you think, Skeeter? Do you recognize your daddy in these? Do you? Does Daddy look funny? Daddy looks funny with or without glasses, doesn't he? Yeah, he does. <laughs> I've been trying to, lately, whenever I get glasses, find a case to stick them in or make sure that they come with a case. This is interesting. Those three glasses that I had here came with two cases. Is there a third one in here? Nope. But there is a wipey. All right, what else we got here? We got another one. This is... Something I didn't try before, this is a different manufacturer that has a similar color to what you see me already wearing. Chances are they probably all come out of the same Chinese factory. But there you go, something different. Wow, those fit really nice. Those fit really, really nicely, better than the other ones do at all. They have a much wider um, bridge across the top. I don't know if that's called a bridge, but the, the width between the arms is a little bit bigger. And my head is just absolutely enormous, probably because my ego is this big. No, my ego's not really that big, but <laughs> these are nice. These are nice. They're smaller lensed than the other ones, but much wider across the front. So these are actually real comfortable to wear. Usually when I get sunglasses, because my head is so big, I have to gently heat them with a heat gun here in the middle and bend them outwards <laughs> just to make them fit my head. But uh, these are nice. And they came with a case, just the same. And what else we got here? We got one more something, and I don't even remember what it is. Actually, we got two more somethings. Another set of glasses, it looks like, and a case. Oh, okay. Another manufacturer, a different color. This looks a little femme. Yeah, it looks a little femme, but I'm probably still going to wear them anyway because I'm gaudy like that. <laughs> Wow, these are actually really pretty. They're iridescent the whole way around, even the arms. This is a, uh, wow, and they fit nice too. These are, they're a little bit stretchy. Completely frameless. No frames on them whatsoever. Beautifully iridescent. There's a little sticker on the lens here. It's peeling off. These are um, UV coated also. And I believe these are polarized, too. Let's see. Look at my LCD screen. No, I'm not seeing anything change in the LCD screen. Usually when you put a polarized lens over an LCD screen, you can make the lens turn black, and it's not doing that. So either they're not polarized and they lied, <laughs> or that's a different kind of LCD screen that doesn't work with the, the polarization the same way. But, yeah, those, those are good. I'm going to be wearing these today. These are nice and comfortable. And they're extremely light. They don't hardly weigh anything at all. These are uh, these are a keeper. That's for damn sure. Wow. Those are just incredible. Absolutely incredible. I hope the light lets you see these. 
Probably to the extent that I can. These things are just gorgeous. Okay, let's put them down here in this case. I don't want to destroy those. Those are really nice. Another wipey for cleaning. What? You want a wipey too? Wipey your butt? You're hungry. Yeah, you know there's food. I showed you the damn food and now you're nuts. Let's see what else we got here. All these little boxes with glasses. I can throw all this stuff away. I got one more thing. And this is actually a gift for a friend of mine. Uh, her daughter, she has this love affair with money, as most girls do. But anytime I see something that's really ridiculous and uh, is either made of money or looks like money, I get it for her. And that's a wallet, $100 bill wallet. A couple years ago, I got her a sweatshirt that had uh, $100 bills all over it. She looked like some kind of urbanized uh, child, especially when she wore the hat that she did. They had this big chrome you know, just stamping that said boss across it. I was like, yeah, don't wear that combination to school. <laughs> but anyway, this is something for her. I'll see her on Thanksgiving. If you guys follow my Facebook, she's the same girl that um, we pretended was my daughter on April Fool's. Uh, I guess it was two years ago now. But <laughs> she was on loan for that one. But, you know, she's kind of like a daughter to me in a way. So I got her a little something special. That's what that's all about. Anyways, you guys... I think that's going to be it for today. There's no more mail that showed up here. What you got, Skeeter? You're a good, good girl. Yes, you are. <laughs> so, Licky Likey, comment, subscribe. Don't forget to pluck that dingle belly. And if you'd like to stick around at the end of this video, there's a fastback driving video. I know I haven't driven in a fastback in a long time to go get my mail. And today's the day that I'm actually going to do it. So please check that out to the end of the video. You'll see a little something extra. And don't forget to check out duckshit.net for my mailing address. Send something in. Let's get weird. I still have the Let's Get Weird shirt too, by the way. I'm getting a little fat. It doesn't fit so good. <laughs> it actually curls up on the bottom and my belly kind of sticks out the bottom. of it. Thankfully, I don't have a droopy belly, but nonetheless, <coughs> it doesn't fit that well. Anyways, like I said, duckshit.net, find my address, send me some mail. If there's no mail, there's no Monday. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next time. Hey, we're back. One more last minute edition. As you can probably tell by looking in the windows here, it got a little dark out there. That's because this is being shot at a separate time than the other video was. I haven't gotten done editing this video yet by the time that I'm recording this, but one more piece of mail showed up today. So I decided to just grab it and get this edited in the video. Now this is from Jody up in Canada. Probably one of my best friends. Um, just one of the nicest guys you could ever talk to. And uh, he sent something, and he said specifically that this is for Skeeter. Could be for you. Yeah. I can't wait to see what it is. Looks like it's something that was very delicate. But Jody, you didn't pack it very well. <laughs> oh, wow. Oh, wow. No kidding. Look at that. It's Skeeter the Duck. <laughs> Skeeter. We got pizza and french fries and, and little baby boomer. This is just, wow, that is just totally awesome. It's got the little flat spot in the back of her head that she has too. <laughs> she pushes the hair up on, well, feathers on the front of her head a little bit. She's got a little flat spot in the back. It's kind of funny that uh, she did that. Who painted this? I don't know, there's no signature on it. That is just too awesome. I know exactly where this is going to go, too, and it's the right color scheme. I have another painting of Skeeter that was done also. I just love that, the little uh, gray hairs that she has, too. A little bit around her eye, a little bit on the back of her neck. It's exactly where her little gray feathers exist. Ducks, just like people, they turn gray when they get older. This is just totally awesome. Let's see you. Let's see you. Let's see how accurate it is. Look. You see, it's got the white hair on here. The white hair on the back of her neck. I'm sorry, Skeeter. We're looking at you. Right here, which looks like it, uh, it's turned more brown, actually. Oop, hang on. I just pulled some of it out. <laughs> sorry, Skeeter. <laughs> the white on her wingtips, which she's always had that. And a little bit in her tail, it's actually starting to appear, too. There's a little bit in there. But that is awesome. Look, it's you. It's you. I just totally love this. Thank you so much, Jody. This is just, just too awesome, too cool. But let's get that sucker hung up. Yeah, we're going to give it a home, aren't we? Yes, we are. Scratch your belly. <laughs> All right, we are in the fastback today. Off to get our mail. Yes. 
guys have watched the beginning of this video, you've already seen what the mail is. At this point, I don't even know yet. <laughs> Driving in the Fastback today, something I haven't done in a while and a lot of people have been requesting. Hey Duckman, why don't you drive the Fastback anymore? It's not that I don't, it's just that I haven't been because...